Hello, I'm Scarlett Marshall and this is Forged TV Newsbite. Sheffield United has retracted their offer to allow convicted rapist Chad Evans to train with them. Evans was released from prison last week after being convicted in 2012. The club's initial offer had caused controversy, including a letter of condemnation from MP Paul Blomfield. Staff from across the NHS walked out on a four-hour strike in Sheffield this Monday. Workers, including nurses and paramedics, represented by 11 trade unions, took strike action from 7 to 11 a.m. The strike was the second four-hour walkout to take place since the government refused a 1% pay rise for all staff, despite it being recommended by an independent pay review board. A Sheffield student was attacked on Roslyn Road in Crooks on Monday evening. Police have released an ether to the suspect, who's thought to be a white male, slim and in his 20s. The university has announced that their new Chancellor will be Dame Anne Rafferty, who will take over from retiring Chancellor Sir Peter Middleton this summer. Rafferty is a Sheffield graduate and has been a Lord Justice of Appeal since 2011. Sheffield will be joining the 15% of other UK universities with a female Chancellor. And finally, there was a disturbance at Allen Court in the early hours of Wednesday morning as firefighters were called to attend a fire in E-Block. Residents of surrounding flats were evacuated and a number of fire engines were present. Firefighters at the scene said that an unattended pan was to blame. No one was injured and Allen Court, formerly known as Opal 2, has now returned to normal. Thanks for watching. I'm Scarlett Marshall.